of scary information out there. And that's why we just want to have people filled with kind of calm confidence that they can vote this election. We are less than 50 days away from Election Day, and the ACLU of Texas is working daily to combat voter misinformation. The group has launched an online resource to make sure voters have everything they need to navigate the upcoming election. And as the pandemic continues, the ACLU also wants to make sure that voters know how to vote safely in November. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil joins us now to tell us more about the new campaign that's helping Texas voters. A little over 42% of voters here in Texas headed out to the polls for the 2016 presidential election. So that means over half of eligible voters here did not vote. The ACLU of Texas launching a campaign called Let Texans Vote hopes to improve that statistic for the 2020 presidential election. You know, so many Texans don't vote, and that's a problem because we we all should have a say in the political process. In the past, Texans statistically don't have the best voter turnout rate. Sarah Libowitz with the ACLU of Texas says they hope the Let Texans Vote campaign will arm voters with easily accessible, clear information about voting rights, safety, and the voting process. One of our goals is that people have the confidence to vote, whether that's by mail or in person. And there's a lot of options this election, which is great news. And we know that that can be overwhelming. It's a good idea to be informed before you, you head to the polls, not just about the candidates, but about the procedures involved in voting. Um, this is particularly true for voters who are disabled or whose first language is something other than English. Professor of Political Science at A&M Central Texas, Jeffrey Dixon, says thanks to the Voting Rights Act in the 1960s, it's more feasible for voters who have any type of ailment to participate in the voting process. There, there are really a, a wide variety of accommodations available. For example, some polling locations have curbside voting if you are disabled. Dixon adds, if you need to have someone accompany you at the voting booth for any reason, disabled voters have that option too. Uh, and they are required to swear an oath that they will fill out your ballot as you direct, that they will read the complete ballot to you, and that um, uh, they will keep your vote a secret. With many different options voters have this year to cast their vote, Lebowitz says if you have any questions, reach out to a credible source. We're a trusted resource. Your county clerk is a trusted resource. Um, and. We want people to know that they have options, that they can vote safely, whether that's by mail or in person. Dixon says if you do have some type of impairment and do Dixon says if you do have any type of impairment and need assistance at the polls, that person cannot be your employer, a union member or an agent of your employer or union. In Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. As part of the ACLU's campaign, they have announced their voting demands. The ACLU is calling on state and local election officials to do the following. Promote and expand early voting, fully fund safe polling locations and protect poll workers and voters, eliminate the 30-day deadline to register and protect voting by mail.